Good morning and uh, welcome to another broadcast of Global Capital Inc. online radio and television show. Today I want to introduce a very important topic um, to you. Yesterday we talked about uh, the financial planners game plan and we looked at the first element of that program which is titled and setting financial goals. Today, I want to talk to you about the five steps or the five levels of visualization because this uh, all align to setting the goal. Very often, you set the goal, but uh, the level of time that you commit to the visualization process is really not there. So, I'm going to bring some clarity uh, to that and trust that you will apply these. Uh, techniques to either your personal life or your your corporate life but just before I get into the to enter today's program to permit me to first of all introduce myself my name is Gary Thompson I'm a business development consultant um, by profession I'm a humanitarian by nature and I'm the self-published best-selling author uh, for several books including 10x branded and marketing blueprint and if you look at the top of the screen and um, you will be seeing the a copy the the cover um, of that book now again i want to say that um, this program comes to you with the the kind compliments of uh, 10x branded and marketing llc out of new york and uh, it also comes to you with the compliments of Global Capital Inc. All right, and um, I also want to talk to you about a very important topic. Now, G Global Capital Inc. and um, 10X Blueprint Academy, um, along now with 10X Branded and Marketing LLC out of New York, we have committed time to design a very unique program and that program is titled the 10x wealth leadership blueprint now the 10x wealth leadership blueprint stands on four important pillars so if you're the individual who wants to attain more financially this is the program for you if you're into business and you want to know how to 10x um, your business income potential this is the program and um, for you so just let me tell you a little bit about the 10x wealth leadership blueprint and the four pillars of this program pillar one you will learn about the pathways to wealth and of course if you are going after wealth from a personal standpoint and or if you're going after wealth from a corporate standpoint, it's very important to understand that pathway to wealth. It can save you a lot of time, it can save you a lot of energy, and it can certainly uh, prevent you from getting frustrated in your effort to attain wealth. So one of the first area that we look into is the pathway to wealth, and this really examine uh, from a global standpoint, the research that we're getting that is showing the main areas um, to attain wealth. And one thing that I'm going to say to you that should not come as a shocker is that almost no one gets rich from, from work. You know, you don't get rich by trading time for money. We have 1% of the global population that are able to trade their time and uh, make money from that uh, but do you know that one percent and things like that we go into with this program and uh, just to give you a hint and um, we see persons who are investment bankers uh, are among the one percent we see senior government officials uh, are among the one percent we see senior managers uh, are among the one percent um, but there are some great spots to everything that we're talking about here and when you get into this program, the 10X Wealth Leadership uh, Blueprint, we go 
much deeper into all of this to really help you to, to really uh, understand this so you're able to make uh, a strong decision you're able to to think ahead and see beyond the problems and take informed actions uh, to achieve the desired results all right now the second pillar of this program we really introduce to you the a concept that we call um, the leadership love language the leadership uh, leadership uh, love language and there's a blueprint and um, in this particular case we talk to you about three important tenets of leadership all right we talk about uh, wealth leadership and the process of thinking ahead we talk about wealth leadership and the process of seeing beyond problems and we talk about wealth leadership in the process of informed action. And what this does, it allows you to see the challenge at hand. And in seeing the challenge at hand, it equips you, equips you with the tools to, to think ahead, to see beyond the problems, and to take informed action to achieve desired results. Now, you're not doing all of this on your own. You have a team of uh, PFAs, professional financial advisors and personal financial advisors and, and business coach who have been in business for, for many years. And we're going to draw those experience from different parts of the world uh, to really work with you, to help you to understand and, you know, to learn, apply and master the, this entire process. So we have a whole lot lined up here for you, the general public. And that is said, if you're in business, and we, this is a very unique brand for you, when we go into all of these uh, concepts, you will be, wow. It's also for the private individual who is not settling and for where you're at, but you want to achieve more. And this program, the 10X uh, Wealth Leadership Blueprint, is a very unique program and for you. Now, along with this, you will be introduced to the third pillar and that is wealth leadership sorry you will be in the third pillar is the wealth love language blueprint now this is pretty interesting because the wealth love language blueprint and here is where you learn about and um, debt capital you learn about the portfolios that exist in debt capital you learn about uh, you know, how the, the pre-qualifications to access the, the, the debt capital market, you learn about, you know, the, the debt leverage, smart ways to leverage debt, and you learn about, you know, debt mitigation and strategies. Well, you also learn about equity capital. You're in business and you don't understand all of this. You're leaving, you're leaving the negotiation table with no crumbs on the table, but, you know, the whole pan of cake you're leaving there if you don't understand um, these issues. So in this particular area of the program, this pillar of the program, you learn about debt, equity, credit, and smart capital. And uh, I want to encourage you, if you're in business, just reach out to us. We'll be happy to, to give you a walkthrough of this program and uh, really put you in that position of strength to make a, a strong decision a better decision um, for for your business. You want to know how to, you know, um, better cash flow. You know, the beauty about these programs is not just about, you know, learning it in theory. They can be immediately applied uh, to your personal and professional life. All right. So do not hesitate to reach out to us at uh, uh, Global Capital Inc. and um, 10X Branded and Marketing LLC out of New York. Now, the last pillar that I'm going to speak to you about today before I get into today's topic is the income audit analytics. You know, when last you, you stop to do either your personal or your corporate um, income audit and analytics, I know, yes, the top big companies, they're going to be doing these kind of stuff, but in this case, let's stop to the, the average person out there, and the small business, you know, micro business. These are things that you 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 must do. You must be able to audit your 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 business strategic plan. 
you must be able to audit, uh, you know, the financial goals that you set to yourself. And in this particular program, this pillar of the program, you will learn things like, you know, how to do the income analytics, how to do the expenditure analytics, how to do the balance sheet analytics, uh, how to do the future plan, plan analytics. And let me talk about this from a personal standpoint. What we are seeing is that the average individual out there, you have dreams and hopes and aspirations, and you're entitled to them. All right, you are not lack, you're not limitation, you're not doubts, and you're not fear, but you have the ability to achieve success abundantly. But having the ability to achieve success abundantly does not necessarily mean that you're going to achieve it uh, abundantly. Divorce from having the right mentor and coach and you know PFA, professional financial advice, and personal financial advice by your side. So it's absolutely necessary that you start to align yourself with the right people. But let me get into this just a little bit. So you have your dreams and hopes and aspirations. You have your future plans. But when you measure your income against your expenditure, it leaves you with a balance sheet. But when you look at your balance sheet, your balance sheet is not adequate enough to expand the business you know, in six months or a year. The, the balance sheet is not enough to, to buy the, the new office shop. The balance sheet is not enough to, to, to buy your, your, your first you know, corporate building. The balance sheet is not enough to, to buy, you know, invest in, in, in higher education. The balance sheet is not enough to, to send your kids to the, the top universities. So what do you do? Many persons become stuck right here at the balance sheet. So the future plans are compromised. And I'm happy to say in this program, we talk to you about smart investment strategies. Traditionally, um, has you know, millions of people across the world as you position yourself to build wealth, you are largely thinking about you know, active income. While there's nothing wrong with active income, at the beginning of this program, I did say to you, we only have 1% of the global population that are able to build wealth from the work that they do. So while you're gonna have active income, it's important for you to start investing the time, talent, and the resources to really understand you know, passive income. So for example, your business might be cash flowing. That's what we call active income. But is there a way in which you can up-level in your business and your brand into a passive income cash flowing machine. Yes, there is a way. It may take some time, it may take a process, but there is a way. And things that we want you to start thinking about is, um, is it possible that you can build your, your business, your idea, your brand into a franchise? Yes, you may have to systemize the entire process and there's no harm in systemization in uh, your process. You make it stronger. It means that in this case, you have uh, what is known as transparency in your systems. You have uh, consistency in your systems. You have accountability in your systems. You have scalability in your system. You have traceability, you have transferability in, in your systems. So these are all of the things that we work with you on to ensure that you can play the game and you can play the game to win. So if you have a winner mindset and you want to and learn from some of the people who are really committed to taking you to another level of uh, you know, development in your personal life and your professional life. Uh, this is the place and for you, all right? The corporate global branding <laughs> and marketing platform. So I wanna take this time to really welcome you all to uh, the second broadcast of Global Capital Inc. online radio and television show. Uh, this program is committed to bringing to you a high level of information that can uh, really help you to 10x your, your personal income, and 10x your business income, and really transform the, the way that you think. So I just want to now ask you to like, subscribe, and share this podcast so you can help me to reach as much people uh, as possible. And this program comes to you with a kind compliment of uh, Global Capital Inc. and
and uh, 10x branding marketing LLC out of New York. All right, so I'm going to go for a commercial break, and when I come back, I will get straight into the five levels of visualization, and I would leave you with those who's for thoughts uh, as you get through your day today. Remember, you're not lack, you're not limitation, you're not doubts, and you're not fear. You have the potential to achieve greatness, but it begins with you believing in yourself and you, you know, really step it up and get in some skin in the game. Okay, welcome back to Global Capital Inc. Radio, online radio and television show. Now, as promised at the beginning of this program, I did mention that I want to talk to you today about the five levels of visualization. So, in the introduction of this program, that was yesterday, we talk about financial goal setting. And one of the things that we talk about is understanding how to set that goal. And uh, we went into uh, expectations and uh, intention. Uh, we went, we gave a lot of, you know, we went a little deep at it. We went at it a little bit, you know, and to really help you to really understand that you must be able to separate your expectations from your intention. And it's important to know these things um, long before you, you know, you start the process. Because financial goal setting is not just about saying, this is what I want to accomplish. I want to expand my, my, my business. I want to start a business. I want to drive my business to, to, to become a, a global brand. Those are all your expectations. This is what you want to do. This is what you want to accomplish. But before you accomplish anything, you must put yourself in a position of strength to, uh, to add value and to fix problem. And that's where the intention comes into play. Now, as you think about what you want to accomplish and as you think about you know, your, your expectations and, and you think about your, your intention, there is a way in which you, you, you go about this. And we call it, it begins with what we call the, the visualization process. And here is exactly where the, the five levels of visualization comes into play. The first level is called think tanking and brainstorming. So you have the vision of what you want to accomplish. You have an idea of what you want to accomplish. You set a goal. Um, most persons, based on the research that we are doing, they are not heavily, actively involved in, in think tanking. And to think tank means that you are thinking through the entire process. You are seeing the beginning and the end, and you see the, the in-between. And as we go deeper into this program, the financial plan is game plan, all of this will be unlocked. So in the first level of visualization, we call it the think tanking and the brainstorming process. Here is where you allow yourself to go deep into the thinking process. And you see in the beginning, you're seeing the end, and you're seeing the in-between. And what that simply means, you, you clearly identify uh, the things that you have to do to get the process started. You clearly identify the end game, the end results that you're looking for. And you clearly identify the team dynamics, all of the in-between realities that you need to consider to achieve the, the end results. Now, 
there are in setting goals and in, in looking at your expectation, this can be at a corporate level and it can be at a personal level. And, uh, you know, getting into team dynamics is very, very important. But I'm, as we go into the program, I'll come there. So the first level of uh, visualization, the five levels of visualization is the think tank and, and the brainstorming process. Now, once you get past this, you must put yourself at that point where you now have a master plan. And a master plan is what you're going to call your builder's plan drawing. So you can look at that builder's plan drawing and you, you have a clear mental picture as to where, how to build the foundation, how to set columns and how to set the beams, you know, how to run the blocks, how to put window, where to put window, where to put doors. Uh, you know, you, you have a, a clear picture of the aesthetics and the ambience that you want to create around the, the building plan. Uh, the, the master plan is also your, your business strategic plan. You want to bring yourself to that point where you're getting enough skin in the game to build out all of these things as relates to uh, achieving the your dreams and your hopes and, and your aspirations. Yes, uh, success is not necessarily for everyone, but success is for those who are willing to get enough skin in the game uh, to achieve the level of success that you want to attain. Success is not for everyone, but success is possible for everyone. It depends on you. It depends on your mindset. It depends on your drive. It depends on you know the level of commitment that you're going to bring to the process. It depends on how many times you're going to fall and and rise again and say falling does not define you, but you know rising is going to eventually get you to the point that you want to go because success is not easy. If anyone is going to be telling you that success is easy and success is going to be an overnight trend, believe me, you're getting the wrong advice. Success is not easy. But there's ways in which you can make the, the, the journey to success more, you know, uh, accommodating. And some of the things that you can do to make this more accommodating is to work, work with those who have the knowledge and have the experience. And this is where you have a difference between action and, and inform action. You know, the question that I want you to ask yourself is that, you have been taking action year in and year out to realize your dream, to get off the paycheck to paycheck cycle, you know, to embrace financial independence and financial freedoms and financial leadership. You have been taking action um, for many years. I've traveled some parts of the world and I've really seen how people work day in and day out um, to achieve their, their level of success and day in and day out just to maintain a certain lifestyle and the moment they, they lose one of those jobs or a, a few days in, in, in the week, um, it affects their lifestyle. This is how much they're on that treadmill. But is there a smarter way of doing things? And I want to show you that really on committing the time to understand the five levels of visualization and how to play this game is going to really give you a tremendous competitive advantage in your business and in your life. So I'm not going to go very deep into it today. It's just to at least give you some information of what you're going to be getting when you uh, become a part of our community. Uh, we're going to be calling the 10X World Leadership Blueprint. You will be uh, thrown into this program, the 10X World Leadership Blueprint. So you either sink or you swim. But we have a number of subject matter experts to ensure that you're not sinking with this information, but you're swimming and you're able to uh, learn, apply and master this information and uh, take it into your corporate life and take it into your personal life uh, to ensure that you are really 10x in uh, your business growth potential and um, 10x in your, your, your personal life and your potential to, to, to cash flow. So, yes. Um, I trust that you would have enjoyed um, today's program, but just before you, you know, I go, I, I just want to just give you um, the five headings. So you learn about think tanking and brainstorming. We talked briefly about um, the master plan. The third 
and visualize level of visualizations, what we call success habits. You know, you rise and fall in habits, and it's important for you to understand habits. And once you understand those habits, you want to build mastery around those habits. All right, when you build mastery around those habits, the fifth step that you're going to be going to is what we call habit systemization. And uh, there's a reason why we are called this habit systemization. Again, you want to be transparent with this entire process. You know, you want to be accountable to this entire process. You want to be consistent. Um, but we'll go into the why and when you were part of uh, this unique program. Of course, this is very unique. Um, it's different from, you know, a lot of programs that is out there. Why? Because we have done the research and um, we are really committed to bring into to businesses and bring it, bring into the private individual a uh, content of information that can be easily applied, a content of information that can be applied instantly, immediately uh, towards you know your success. So you're going to find that everything that we are going to be talking about is not just in theory, it's in the practice and it has been working. And for myself, it has been working for many of the persons that we are uh, coaching um, around the world. So um, I want to really encourage you to come out um, and uh, join us, join the community, and um, take your life into to your own hands and make that decision that you will become the author and the maker of your life. So it's either you become the author and the maker of your life, or you become the author that break and any possibility of you know uh, leapfrogging and your life and becoming more successful in, in what you're doing. So again, you are listening to the Global Capital Inc. online radio and television show, and. Um, I trust that you're enjoying these nuggets. Now, later in the day, I just want to prepare you for that. We are going to be um, having another um, broadcast. And uh, mm -hmm. I want to talk about the importance of um, market research because we are talking, we are currently looking at some very, very groundbreaking information. And one of those theses that we're looking at is what we call the, the market research and market intelligence ecosystem. And if you're in business and uh, you want to be successful, you want to fly your flag as high as the top 100 companies. And I know that's pretty tough because the top 100 companies, they are positioned to generate billions of dollars, US dollars annually. And uh, that really requires a certain mindset, a certain way of thinking. And, uh, you know, you really have to ask yourself if you're ready for, you know, all of that heavy lifting, you know, to, to, to take a brand, you know, and build that brand, not just with local relevance, but you build that brand out to have, you know, regional and international uh, relevance. And you, you from the relevance, you ensure that you, you build it out in such a way to impact uh, millions of people across um, the world. Uh, we'll be looking at some of these brands. I'll be looking at the, those company names, and um, we'll be telling you a little bit of some of what they do to up level and um, their business success and really build out their brand in such a way and to ensure that it's, it is uh, a global brand. Now, again, I want to encourage you to like, subscribe, and share. Um, and share this in the in the networks that you you, take, you know if you're in business and you, know, you intend to get into this bus business this is a platform for you if you know anyone who is in business and uh, you know want to achieve more this is the platform and for them uh, remember you can uh, you use the numbers on the screen and you can reach out to our uh, subject matter experts and we will be happy to to work with you uh, provide you with mentors and coach and uh, ensure that you have professional advice that can help you to better navigate uh, the world of business. Again, if you are a private individual, but you're not settling for where you're at, you want to achieve more, um, start thinking about the 10x Wealth Leadership Blueprint because the 10x Wealth Leadership Blueprint, uh, again, it stands on four pillars. You will learn about the uh, pathways to wealth. 
you will learn about leadership love languages and you will learn about the web love languages and you will learn how to do your income audit analytics and uh, these programs are all set to you know um, fast track your your personal financial development and your corporate corporate financial development because you know deep research has been you know given into these subject matters by uh, you know a number of you know um, great thinkers you know so do not fail to act reach out to us and uh, we our team we are so happy uh, to work with you remember this program comes to you with a kind compliments of uh, uh, global capital inc and um, 10x brandon and marketing llc out of new york my name is gary thompson i'm a business development consultant by profession i'm a humanitarian by nature and I'm the self-published best-selling author for several books, including uh, Managers, Two Kids, Billionaire Codes. And if you look at the screen, you will be seeing um, my new book, which is titled 10X Branding and Marketing Blueprint. You don't want to miss this book. And of course, um, I will be teaching um, millions of people from around the world right here and about the content that we have in, in this book. This book really gives you the A to Z and uh, starting a brand and uh, taking a brand uh, global. It's a pretty, you know, um, piece of work here. A lot of research has been um, put into this book. And we have studied some of the top 100 companies in the world. We have really studied uh, what, what are those factors that are the anchor points and um, you know those things uh, as they are well documented in, in the book so be blessed have a great day and uh, see you in the next broadcast remember protect yourself protect your loved ones and ensure that you're doing everything to strengthen your immune system we are in a pandemic be blessed